Klaus Busse, que es el jefe de diseño interior del grupo Chrysler sobre la nueva Jeep Renegade 2015. Here with Klaus Busse, uh, head of interior design for the Fiat Chrysler Group at the launch event of the new Renegade. And even though this, we already drove it off-road, very extreme, and like it's very Jeep, I mean 100% Jeep, this car has a lot of uh, design story cars. Yeah, that's true. Um, and thanks for having me on your show. No, it is a fantastic uh, experience to design a Jeep always, and especially when you go into a market where we haven't been before, this, this compact uh, Jeep Renegade. So we had to do something fresh. We had to do something that hasn't been done before to make a mark, to make a statement, and to convey what Jeep is all about. I think we, we successfully did that. Yeah, I know you're in charge of the interior, but uh, people when, when people saw this vehicle in pictures at the beginning, they thought it looked out of proportion, like, uh, I, I don't know. But now when you see it in person, both exterior and interior, it really, like, it's one one thing first. It's, it's a Jeep. And then it's like very cool elements of design everywhere. No, I'm glad you see that. It's all about expressing the fun of this uh, vehicle, the character of the vehicle. And sometimes when you look at little puppy, dog puppy, you know, the big eyes, the big yeah. paws, it makes the dog look out of proportion. And with this car, we gave it big headlamps, big tail lamps, so it makes the car on photos sometimes look out of proportion. But as you say, when you see it real life, it actually looks really, really neat. Same on the interior. We oversized certain elements. We played other elements up. So it becomes this character full fun uh, element that we that we play up yeah so even though this is a compact quote unquote and i say that really that's a little ironic because in the interior it's really big no you're correct um the car is actually on a very small footprint but it has very uh, upright side uh, windows it has a very upright front window which you know makes it gives it some of the jeep wrangler proportion But uh, we also raised the, the roof quite dramatically to give it this cute overall proportion. And that gives you a credible amount of interior space uh, for the driver, the passenger, for the guys in the back, and for cargo in general. So a very, very clever package. Yeah. And then, like, very clever details. And most people, will, like, probably won't see them immediately, but you have, almost have to point them out to them. But, like, that's something of your kind of your signature, right? Like, you, you incorporate those kind of cool things everywhere yeah. and you can. See, uh, you're referring to what we internally call uh, the Easter eggs. And, and for us, you know, we have so much fun designing a Jeep, and we, we try to express that to our customer. So what we do is we do little fun things in the interior that you might not see when you buy the car, but maybe you see it two months, three months, two years later, and discover these little things that, that tell you and show you how much fun we had designing the car. For, there's, for example, that's the only one I want to give away. There's a little inscription around the push to start button, and it'll say, on to new adventures. And it's one of these little things that one of the designers just put in there when he designed that part. And for us, again, it's expressing how much fun we have, and we try to put a smile on our, our uh, owner's faces. Can you give me another one? Because the other yeah. one that I'm thinking of is really, really cool. The paintball uh, splash and the mask. Yeah, you're right. So, you know, what we do when we design a Jeep, we actually do uh, quite a bit of outdoor activities, crazy things, uh, just to get in the mood of, of, of this vehicle. You know, it's not, that's why we call it the Renegade. We do kind of Renegade sports. Yeah. In one event, we went paintball playing. And, and sure enough, I got a paintball hit right on my mask, right on my face. And the designer who saw it thought that was actually cool splash cool feature he said so the next day he comes back to me with a sketch of the instrument cluster and you know you always have to have a red mark where the limitation is for the for the revolutions of the engine yeah. and in this case we didn't put a red line but we put a red paintball splash exactly there <laughs> and uh how, how tough is to get that approved with the senior management that because is... uh, that i would have liked to be in that meeting That is an excellent question. Uh, we were 99% sure that that feature would not make it into market because it's a it's a print operation. You can always last minute change it. Yeah. We were, I almost say, 100% convinced the engineers or someone would take it out. And guess what? It's in the vehicle. And it's not only that. There's a lot of elements in the vehicle where, in hindsight, you think, how did we get away with doing that? Because it's really different solutions, fun solutions. But it but it speaks to the fun that Jeep is as a brand and the risk we take. And you see that in this vehicle. Okay, I want to steal a third one. <laughs> third picture, even though you promised only one. On the, the center console, you have the 1941 yeah. date on it, yes. which is very cool because that talks about the heritage of the car. Absolutely. See, Jeep is such a household name. And, uh, you know, Jeep was 
was founded and created with a purpose. It was not just an engineer's dream said, hey, let's do a car company. It was created with a purpose. And so it's just respectful on our side to, you know, always remind ourselves of, of, the, of the heritage, of the purpose the brand carries. So yes, we put a little since 1941 into our vehicles as a remembrance where we come from. Excellent. Well, Klaus, uh, thank you very much for your time. And uh, we're going to let the audience and the potential buyers of this car to find all the other Easter eggs in the Jeep Renegade. Exactly. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. It was fun. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.